common occurrence when mating parts in an assembly is the need to select faces that are hidden behind other faces. Rotating the model is always an option, but sometimes that can be laborious and time consuming. An easier way is to simply hide the faces that are in the way, and we have two ways to accomplish that. One is the select other command. I want the bottom of that gray part to sit on top of the blue one. Hover over face that's in the way, right click and select other from the menu. I can see the face that I want. If there were other faces in the way, however, just hover, right click. When you see the one you want, select it and continue. I'm going to center that part with the width mate. This face and the one opposite it centered between this face and the one opposite that. The select other command has been around for a long time and works in parts as well as an assembly. More recently a keyboard shortcut, the Alt key, has been predefined to hide faces when mating parts in an assembly. It's only available in assemblies and only when the mate command is active. This part needs to be positioned back and forth. Hover over faces in the way and hit the Alt key. If there are other faces in the way, hover and Alt until you see the one you want. Select it and continue. I'll use the Alt key to hide faces when mating the green part. The bottom sits here. This face touches this. And I'll use another with mate to center it. This face, the one opposite centered with this hole. Once you get used to either the select other or using the alt key when mating, you'll find it will save a lot of time. Thank you.